is broccoli actually bad for you? That's what I saw in a social media post from a doctor saying that broccoli should basically be getting rid of, it's no good and we shouldn't eat broccoli. Is that true? Is everything that we've been taught wrong? That's what I'm going to cover briefly in this video for you to give you a little bit more context around this apparently controversial vegetable. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching. I'm a registered dietitian. And when I see social media posts like this, it drives me crazy because often people share a little piece of the story, but it's not the full picture. So this person was saying that broccoli basically has a plant chemical in it that can reduce iodine absorption and cause problems with the thyroid, which can lead to a trajectory of other problems. He also said that basically broccoli makes everyone fart and so we shouldn't eat it. However, there is so much more to broccoli. First of all, even if it does interfere with iodine absorption, Iodine is not a common deficiency. It is not frequent that people in America are not getting enough iodine. Iodine can be found in dairy, in liver, in seaweed, and just iodized table salt. So even if you put some of that onto your food or you had broccoli and cheese, you're gonna be getting some iodine with it. So it's not a normal thing for people to fear having an iodine deficiency just because they're eating broccoli. And he didn't even say how much you would have to eat for it to interfere with that absorption. And most people are not going crazy with broccoli in their diet. What he didn't mention is that broccoli also offers vitamin C, vitamin K, calcium, potassium, antioxidants, all these things that are so important for your immune health and for fighting off free radicals and damage in your body. It produces sulforaphane when it is digested in the body and that has lots of potential health benefits for people and may even be cancer fighting. And it's part of the cruciferous family, which all appear to contribute to fighting things like cancer and other diseases. Broccoli gives you fiber, vegetables give you fiber, fruits give you fiber. These are things that we need to help with regular bowel movements to prevent constipation and to proliferate the gut with good gut bacteria, which supports not only digestion and bowel habits, but also our immune health. And yes, it may be common for people to have difficulty digesting broccoli because of those fibers, and maybe it will lead to gas for some people. If it's a constant problem with gas and bloating, one, it could be an issue with your digestive system. That actually, you need to look more at the root cause of that. Or it may be that you need to try eating cooked broccoli instead of raw, or maybe you just need to cut down on the amount and just have a small amount of broccoli as opposed to a whole plateful, and that may help manage those symptoms. One thing that gets me about these kind of posts is that when I look at the comments, I th see things like, oh darn, I really like broccoli, and oh yeah, we shouldn't eat broccoli, and it's like people who want to be healthy and want to eat vegetables are being told that they should no longer consume a vegetable that they like that offers so many health benefits. If you want to keep eating broccoli, please do. The benefits far outweigh the cons. So I hope this helps clarify a little bit on whether broccoli is actually bad for you or not and helps you to think a little bit more critically when you see these types of posts on social media. Don't believe everything and do a little bit of your own research to figure out if these things are actually true and what is right for you. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And until the next one, blessings on your health and fitness journey.